Welcome to my Paint With Me Skateboard Edition. So for me, skateboarding is way harder than just painting them. So I can nearly do a 180 kickflip. You can't call it dropping in, but I've held onto somebody else whilst falling down a ramp. But today, we're going to paint up a blank skateboard in an impressionist inspired style. So I hope you enjoy it. First off, you can buy a blank skateboard from many places. I always get mine from Skate Hut and they come with grip tape and they come in loads of different sizes as well. First we'll have to sand down the skateboard to get rid of any varnish or shine in preparation for putting on our own undercoat or primer. Next we're going to apply masking tape around the edge of the entire skateboard following the lines and the grooves in the wood. We're also going to masking tape the holes. This will ensure that paint won't run down the edges of the board or through the holes. Anything but love less? Give her what she wants, put on my tab. <laughs> Next we'll apply the primer. I'm using this Dulux undercoat in brilliant white for the base coat of my design. So as this is inspired by Impressionist art, I did a few smaller paint tests and some thumbnails to see what colours and compositions I wanted to create. So for this I'm going to use a mixture of acrylic paints and gouache. Now I've got this gorgeous gouache set and the colours are so rich and deep that it really helps bring out the depth of the water in this piece. Now that all the prep is done, we can actually start on the fun stuff.
So this is my seventh skateboard that I've painted up now. I have previously done a series on Frida Kahlo and they were the very first boards I did. So I've also done a few cowboy skateboards as I've been obsessed with them ever since Red Dead Redemption 2 came out and I love that game. I've played so many hours of it, I think I'm on my fourth playthrough now. And then I made this Winston Churchill one as a birthday present. Whenever I'm painting, I'll be constantly looking at references the whole time. So I'll have a few mood boards displayed around me. So for this, I had mood boards of real photos of koi fish and water and ponds, but then also other artists' impressions of koi fish and water. It's also important to have those visuals in front of you of the colours you're trying to include in your own piece. So with all these references, you can create something unique, but something based on either reality or an art movement itself. So lately I've wanted to make more time for my art, so I've actually just started going to life drawing sessions again and just putting two hours aside a week for that has been really nice to get back into doing what I love. My day job is all about computers as I work for a video game company so making time to be away from screens and just paint is really good for me. So doing these boards is also a really nice way to explore something different as it's not your traditional medium to work with so if you are curious about this process then I would encourage you to give it a go. I'm all about painting by hand 
and observational drawing and focusing on those traditions. So this has been a fun way to do that. Watch how I move, baby My hips sway from side to side Victorious angel, I could well be No one could ever knock my pride I'm so cute with my long hair falling to my waist Greatest eyes you'll ever see Sit so pretty on my face I don't know about you, but whenever I'm doing creative stuff or art stuff, I like to listen to podcasts. So usually I'll listen to supernatural ones or true crime ones, but there are these old XFM ones which have Carl Pilkington in and Ricky Gervais and Steve Merchant, and I've probably listened to them hundreds of times now, but they're like a comfort blanket. And um, it's really nice to just zone out and listen to that whilst doing this stuff. into lo-fi and jazz and swing and that kind of sound so the music you can hear in the background of this vlog is actually me and I wrote it and I'm singing in it and so I've been a musician for a few years now but um, I've only just started recently writing my own music in the past one or two years 
and I've released some stuff on Spotify and on SoundCloud so if you're interested in hearing anything else then the links are in the description below. That was just great Peggy, as always you were great. Thank you Dino, darling. Peggy, you've written a lot of great songs, now let's sing some of your songs. That's just because you're so nice. Now that all the paint is dried, we can varnish it to seal in the paint and give it a professional shiny gloss. The varnish I use is yacht varnish or marine varnish, basically any waterproof specific varnish because if someone is going to ride these boards we want to make sure they're as durable as they can be. And it's done. So there we have it. One hand painted skateboard. I hope you've enjoyed this paint with me art vlog. And if you have, then like and subscribe. For now though, I'm going to go hang this on my wall. Is that all there is? Is that